I represent a mix of government and business interests. Three master criminals recruited by an elite crime-solving agency. Every bone in my body says not to trust you. These bad guys turn good guys. Try to catch the criminal before the crime. Where do you get your theories from? I make them up as I go along. A partnership where anything's possible. You are dead. Except trust. We can lend more support. You don't have morals. That's true. And now, three. They're all so beautiful. Yes. Do you do some kind of payment plan? No. Do you have anything a little more, um... Accessible? No. Actually, we might. One carrot. Something shipped to us in error. It's stunning. Nine thousand dollars. I think it's a little expensive. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Maybe we should go home. Yeah. Well, thanks anyway. Everything's gone. But I just sneezed. A high-end art and jewel thief. A master of the short con and martial arts. A hacker Robin Hood who stole from the rich to give to the poor. The organization's job is to protect the status quo. You three are each the best at what you do. Now you will do it for us. It's a nice area. You used to know someone on that block. Unfortunately, I still do. Bad day? <sighs> no. Just work. Let me guess. Tall, nice clothes. Hip, but not too trendy. Musician. I'm tone deaf. Chippendale's dancer. Two left feet. <laughs> All right, I got it. Jewel thief. Just kidding. Been reading too many spy novels. Any good? Oh, boy spy meets girl spy. Realize they're soulmates, but neither one's telling the other the whole story. They're double agents, both working for the same side. And love wins out. And they double cross their country. And live happily ever after. Guess you read it. <laughs> That's how they all end. The girl can only hope. Waiting around here wouldn't be so bad if we had a little entertainment. Yeah, like maybe a pool table. Air hockey. Maybe even some basic cable. 
Yeah, I mean, how is it that we get information off of a Russian spy satellite, but God forbid we want to watch a little Wheel of Fortune? It was an example. Give me that. Sorry I'm late. What's her name? You really think that's all I care about, don't you? Blonde, brunette, or redhead? Yellow. As in cab, as in couldn't find one in the rain. A piece of experimental technology has recently been stolen from an industrial concern. Weren't you wearing the same tie last week? The technology is being used in a series of high-end thefts. This being the latest. Surveillance footage from a jewelry store three days ago. Twenty million dollars worth of merchandise disappears in front of a dozen clueless witnesses. What exactly is the technology? That is classified. Well, what's the industrial concern it got ripped off from? Classified as well. Thanks. Could you be a little less specific? There must be a reason he can't give us the details. Other than he just doesn't know? Or he's trying to protect whoever it was stolen from. And maybe the concern is the organization. Well? Your reasoning is irrelevant. Well, it sounds like a yes to me. Someone stole one of his toys. Ha uh ha. -huh. Your assignment is to bring me the thief and recover the stolen technology. Be seeing you. Later. I could use this technology myself. All the jewelry just disappears without a clue. What if there was some tape from another camera, like um, an ATM camera across the street or something that Marcus could, you know, hack into? There isn't an ATM. How do you know? I robbed this store three years ago. Oh, well, good answer. There is another camera outside the store and at every major intersection in the city. I can hack into the Transit Authority's main terminal. The city's new traffic monitoring system. All right, but first we're going to bring up the tape from the camera outside the store. Find the right day and the right time. Now we sync them up. Compare the two tapes. See, right before the robbery, the guy with the hat goes in the store. Then, boom, all the jewels disappear. See, the camera in the store shows him leaving right away, but according to the traffic camera, he doesn't leave. For another six minutes. How is that possible? It isn't, unless somebody stopped the tape inside the store. But the people don't move, and there are no witnesses. How? We'll find out. I'll tail him. You can tail a car from a week ago? No, I can't. The Transit Authority can. All right. I'm searching for the camera at the next intersection. He's in his car. He's headed north up Madison. <sighs> now he's going west. This is amazing. He's heading for the 22nd Street Bridge. And so are we. <laughs> sound vibrations off the window. Who the heck comes up with these things? The Russians used it against our embassies. Or at least that's what it says in the spy novels. You ready? You have an electronic lockpick on you? No. Tonight we're low tech.
watch that. It might be rigged. What is that? Uh, some book about two people who aren't what they say they are. Did I mention it was a happy ending? Don't move. We'll talk when you put the guns down. <coughs> Let's call it a tie. Nice to see you again, Jonathan. You two know each other? I took him for a ride once. What do you do for an encore? Saw yourself in half? Marcus Miller, it's a pleasure. Amanda Webb, your reputation precedes you. Remind me to tell it not to do that. Who the hell are you? 1992. The Hammond Diamond Theft. You're Kelly Ryan? In the flesh. That was a pretty amazing piece of work. Thank you. What is this, career day? You fell off the radar after that. What happened? The same thing that happened to all of you. The man. you one of us. I was until I lost the rest of my team. Because of him. I've been running ever since. And you got away? Temporarily. I knew they'd send someone. I figured it'd probably be you three. Relax that finger, Amanda. You're riding the trigger. What do you want? It's what I have that you want. Yeah, the technology you stole. Information. Pieces of the puzzle. Like? My team figured out where the organization stores our files. All the documentation they used to blackmail us. Into working for them. Interested? Look, if she's right, if she's telling the truth, she can get our files away from them. I want to hear about it. Yeah, I'd like to know what she wants. Unless she really believes she's making this offer out of the goodness of her heart. When you guys make up your mind, come see me. I'll be an uninvited guest of a royal Persian family. Jonathan will know. Yes, and yes. I looked at my watch just before we went in. Nearly 20 minutes has gone by. No. No way we were in there that long. Actually, we were. We lost time, about six minutes. Just like the people in the jewelry store. You want to say that again backwards, see if it makes any sense at all? My sonic mechanism's toasted. What would do that? Something the Army's been experimenting with. Ultra-low sound frequency waves. Your ears can't hear them, but your brain can. What does it do? It inhibits all non-autonomic brain impulses to muscles. Time stands still. You're stunned. Kind of like when Jonathan talks to Kelly. <laughs> Look, we could get our lives back. Yeah, you have no reason to trust that woman. Oh, someone feeling a little threatened. No, I am not feeling threatened. It's just that women always come first with you, and if you don't mind, would you try betting her on your private time? You've got me wrong, and you always have. What, are you telling me you're not attracted to her? Getting into bed with a beautiful woman yeah. is not the first thing I automatically think of. And I don't want to hear anyone who came to us with an offer like this. Jonathan, we don't know if one word she said was true. She was one of us. Now how do we really know she worked for the man? We played dumb. And get the man to tell us she's one of us. We need to talk. You are not called. We have a problem. Yeah, we've been through all the jewelry tapes. Cross-match the transit videos. And they all lead nowhere. We're stumped. You need more information on who stole the technology. Yeah, that's right. The three of you aren't very good at pretending you're ineffectual. Oh, thank you. Let's eliminate the theatrics and get right to the point. You found Kelly Ryan. Yes. 
And when were you going to mention that she was one of us? Is that what she told you? We know it's true. We choose what information is relevant to an assignment and what is not. Is that how Kelly lost the rest of her team? Are they dead? Kelly's team died because they failed. I suggest you don't make the same mistake. Bring us Kelly Ryan and the technology she stole from us. Within the next 48 hours. Now we know. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, Lot 56, yeah. the jewel in our crown, so to speak. The Ray of Atlantis. Confirmed Providence as being part of the royal family of Persia for over 400 years. How do you know she'll show? You heard what Jonathan said. No jewel thief can resist that. God, look at him. I mean, he can practically taste it. And bidding will begin at one million five. One million five. Do I have two million? I have two million for this elegant piece of history. Two million five. Two million five, thank you, sir. Three million, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, ladies. Three million five, thank you. Do I have four million? Four million, thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, four million five for this beautiful ray of Atlantis. Thank you, madame. Four million five. What are you doing? Do We're I on the job, consider it an expense. Five million, thank you to the gentleman in the corner. Five million five. Do I have five million five, ladies and gentlemen? Five million five. Do I have six million, ladies and gentlemen? Six million. Six million. Six million. Six million. Thank you, sir. Six million, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have six million five? Six million five. Six million going once, going twice. Use the same earplugs as you. Pretty cool, huh? So believe I dropped the jewels. You mean they weren't a gift? <laughs> you left a lot of pieces behind. Thanks. Reproductions the auction house didn't catch. Oh, you're good. You're better. You nailed me. <laughs> and it was fun. You're just getting back at me because I snuck up on you with that cabby thing. No, because you're playing games. You played along. Tell me you weren't two seconds away from trying to pick me up. I'm not that easy. You guys get a room later. Let's do this. Is it safe to talk here? We're clear, I've checked. No bugs. Great, let's talk. You know where the organization keeps their files, but you can't get to them yourself. Otherwise, you wouldn't need us. You guys remind me of us. 
The man picks his teams well, I'll give him that. Oh, you're just seeing us on one of our good days. It's one of his strategies. You don't want to run because you feel responsible to each other. We'll see if we get there by the time we're done. You think you'll ever be done? This is supposed to be a temporary gig. We give the organization a couple of years, and then they replace us with fresh blood. So one day you show up at the brownstone, they put some money in your pocket, pat you on the back, and let you walk? Yeah, that's the deal. That's right. The man's never, never lied to us before, always been honest. Look, the guy may have the personality of a chair, but he hasn't actually lied to us. Yeah, he just leaves things out every once in a while. Look, our team was together six years. Six years? And the organization never showed any signs of cutting us loose. And as soon as we figured out where they kept our files, my partners died on assignment. Now, maybe that's a coincidence. Look, it's only a matter of time till they find us. Do you guys want your freedom or not? I'm on board. Obviously. It's risky. And so is doing nothing. I say we give it a shot. But only if all three of us are involved. Otherwise, forget it. Every bone in my body says not to trust you. The organization stays anonymous by having very little structure. By using other people's resources without them knowing it. So when it came to storing their most precious asset... I think that's us. Oh, please. Information. They picked the most secure place, Boy International Trust. It looks like a regular old office building to me. The organization piggybacks its data on top of Boyner's, encrypted on their supercomputer, which is kept in a very secure vault. Well, we've gotten into those before. When the locking mechanism is on the inside? So we use that subsonic thing on every warm body in the place and delete the files, take the money, and run. It won't work. The projector won't work on everyone in the building, not even everyone on a floor. And the freeze effect only lasts about, what, six minutes, and the brain starts to build up a tolerance. Well, now we see why you needed us. Security around the computer makes Fort Knox look like a petting zoo. There are no modem lines into the computer. You have to be inside the vault to use it. Piece of cake. International? No, no. No, no. Huh? Oh. No. Thanks a lot. See you tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. Boy International? be hitting on delicate electronics like that are you the computer guy no i'm here to rob the place <laughs> can i get back there yeah boy international no kill the interference okay Back long, what'd you do? Years of technical training. You want details? You want me to keep working? Ignition. 
half an hour. It's the parking garage. Will you stop? I'm working. I'm aware of that. There's a short. 911, what is your emergency? Yeah, 911. There's a bomb on the fifth floor of the Boyna Trust building. A very big bomb. So you believe that spy novel? Two people can meet like this be meant for each other? I'm not so sure about the happy ending. Okay, so maybe you didn't want to pick me up in the cab. Well, sort of maybe. But as soon as you found out I needed your help, then you were interested. You're the type of guy who likes to come to the rescue, aren't you? This floor's gun is not such a bad one. Yeah, but see, you always wind up with women who are in trouble. Or women who are troubled. Which one are you? Trust me, Jonathan. I'm not going to let you down. We're on. I'm almost done. No, now. I'm still working. No, now. Be right behind you. is on ice. Uh, this is the safest job they'll ever go on. Okay, guys. Freedom. <laughs> what? Remember how I say in every vault, every bank, there's always a weakness. How could I not? Well, there's also always something you miss. These guys haven't moved in four minutes. They're working. An inch, tough. They haven't moved in. Walker, what are you guys doing up there? Yeah, exactly. I'm sending up another team. Parker, Stevens, yeah. let's go. All right, let's go. I hope you're right about that password. It's right. I'm in. So are we. I'm searching now. So, we've got a timed lock. The door's set to reopen tomorrow morning, no sooner. So we got two choices. We can either use brute force Use explosives and blow us up with the door. Or? Reset the clock. Exactly. Got the files, I'm deleting now. How long will it take? You just worry about getting us out, okay? Oh, you're not gonna believe this. What? Jackpot. 
I got the man's files. Uh, guys, we've got company coming. How much of my six minutes do we have left? Three. Great. All right. Okay. Marcus, we're almost there. Are you done? Soon. Hey, are you deleting our files or reading the mass? Both. Now, this vault is going to open, it's going to correct itself, and then close again. Okay, delete the files and get out of here. All right, all right. Hey, where are you guys? My time's running out here. Marcus. Marcus? I'm deleting the last file. Marcus, come on. Now or never, Marcus. Make that now. Are you done? Done. Let's do this. Clear that back door. I'm on it. Make sure that access is clear. Here they come. Coming back up. Through. Back up. Step back. Give them the Away from the bomb, please, ladies and gentlemen. Step back. Bomb team. Get back. Back away there. Keep away, please. There you go. Clear the area. Let's go. Organization's bank accounts? I transferred the money to our aliases. You and Amanda withdraw the cash. We'll meet you at the car. And then? Then that's it. We just go our separate ways, right? Rendezvous at seven. Got the time confused. Big hand on the 12, little hand on the 7. It's not that hard. Maybe something came up. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? She's a little pyromaniac. What is that? Looks like she's into opera. Yuck. Rather my teeth drilled. You know, something is not right. When Jonathan makes a plan, he doesn't deviate from it. I, I mean, it's how he, how he lives his life. It's how he steals. You saying he's walking out on us? No, I'm saying his judgment is a little off. How's Kelly? Well, he is a man, but I don't think he would walk on us when we've got the money. No, I don't think he'd walk out on us because he made a commitment to us. Jonathan's not here because of her, and he's in trouble. We're gonna have to get some help. From where? Well, given all of our options, the last place you think of. <laughs> We're gonna be late. How's it feel to be free? You know, I think I'll actually miss them. Ah, you say that now. I've never said it before. Listen, in a few hours, we'll be on a plane, and you'll never have to look back. Nothing can stop us. Hey. Which way are you going? I mean, we're meeting Marcus and Amanda on the other side of town. We will. Just have one little errand first, and then we'll be cut loose forever. What errand? Knock out the last obstacle. Permanently. The man. Oh, and back into the fire. We got no other move. I want to help Jonathan. Locked, as usual. Should we look upstairs? 
Want to bet those are all locked, too? Hey! You home? Like he answers us half the time when he is. Oh, you got a better idea? Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. Now, that's a nice painting. You think so? I think it's a valuable painting. Yeah, should be worth between one and two million dollars, you think? I know. So, if you're up there, you might want to come down before I empty a clip of hollow points into your precious painting. Yeah, she'll do it. He knows I will. How the hell are we going to find him? I don't know. I mean, he really should give out his beeper number or something. And look at this. Another opera buff. Guess where we're going. Oh, no. Shoot me. Come on, Kelly. Kelly, we have what we want. Let's stick to the plan. He is responsible for my best friend's dying. Do you know that for sure? Doesn't matter. He dies and we all go free. It's not a tough equation. Yeah, but it is for me. Four lives for one blackmailer. Kelly, I'm not listening Don't to... you get it? As long as he is alive, we are prisoners. It's not that simple. You know, I thought we understood each other. Yeah, and I thought so too. die. I won't fight you. I don't want you to. Just join me. Oh. Follow me. Wait. We're not murderers. If you want him, you have to go through me. We have six minutes. Move. Jonathan, don't make me do this. You'll be the only one pulling that trigger, Kelly. Damn it, get out of the way. If you want to save someone, save us. You asked me to trust you, and I did. And don't let me down. bullets out just in case. A murderer. Yeah, but that would be self-defense. Now put the gun down. <laughs> Not very creative, sorry. Oh, you. It's not too late, okay? Just let me take him out and it'll all be over. It's already over. <clears throat> Just say the word. Two pops, a dropper. Two? No! <laughs> if 
I told you lately that your taste in women sucks? Let her go. She tried to kill you. Go on, Kerr. Go on, run! Get out of here! Great. You're gonna find her. Yeah, I know. Plans for everything. <laughs> what are you talking about? The playbill. He left it for us just in case. No way. He's not that good. step ahead the whole way. Spencer's gonna be busy rebuilding our files. Who's Spencer? That's his name. It's the only thing I got off that damn file. First or last? I don't know. Oh. You were right. I didn't want to be. This elite crime-solving team always gets her man. But to con this thief, she's got to get dangerously close. I'm your daughter. To blowing her cover. Don't you think you're taking this father thing just a bit too far? Just don't get attached. An all-new 3 next Monday. Watcher's past stalks the Slayer. It can't be. Jazz, how do we stop this? God, what have I done? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Then, a hurricane hits Cape Side, but the real storm rages inside. Don't you cry! It's getting too dangerous. Are you defender? You would. Clarify yourself right now before I rip your head off. Dawson's Creek, after Buffy, on the WB's new Tuesday.